Talker Network. My name is Johnny Hill and I'm your host today. And I'm here with a true student athlete. This man has a GPA of 3.8. My man, Chris Stamps. Say something today, yeah. brother. What's good, Johnny? It was good, Conference Sports. I'm here, ready for this interview with Johnny. Yes, sir. No question. Yes, sir, bro. Again, hey, I was telling you before, I'm thankful and grateful to have you on here, bro. And we're just going to chop it up, man. Yeah. Okay. I say you're a true student athlete. Tell the audience how much books and getting that 3.8 is important to you, bro. With the 3.8, like uh, when I first got to, to Rumble, I already had good grades going into high school, but I was kind of afraid to see what it was like to do certain stuff in the classroom in high school and take how hard the test would be or whatever. But come to find out, like my first year wasn't that hard. All I had to do was just finish all my homework and my assignments and study real hard. And my parents, like, they own us about that type of stuff. So I feel like all that is just is working hard in the classroom, not, not only worrying about what goes on the field, just keep my head straight and try to get my, keep my grades up and stuff like that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. As, let's go ahead and make a transition from the grades to the, to the field, man. Let's go ahead and talk about this, man. You are a great offensive lineman, man. And I encourage everybody to look at this man, Huddle. When I look at you, bro, you have excellent feet, bro. And, and a great arm length, too. You got great arms, too. So, bro, I got a question. Which one do you prefer, pass blocking or run blocking? Uh, when I first started playing football, I was more of like a – I'm, I was more of like a run person because I like to, you know, punish people as a line, get to the second level. And then when I started working with Coach Steve, once he started talking about the aspects of pass blocking and stuff and uh, showing me what was like showing me certain situations, what D linemen would do, like how would they try to rush the passer. So I like try to perfect that and I fell in love with it. And that's probably like my go to is I, I'll probably go with pass blocking right now. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Got to protect the quarterback, man. Yeah. Okay, Chris, next question, man. What was the greatest moment of your senior year, brother? Uh, my greatest moment in my senior year probably was playing at Tulane. Mm -hmm. uh, because, yeah, probably playing at Tulane. Uh, I think we played St. Aug. Probably my best game that whole year. Uh, even though our season didn't go to the way we wanted to go, I feel like we still had some good moments and stuff, like taking rides and all that, doing certain stuff with the team and all that. And winning winning at Tulane is is fun and celebrating with my teammates in the locker room and stuff. We just had a whole bunch of fun with that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I got to do that, man. Tulane, Tulane got a good stadium too, man. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that was not that, that wasn't my first time playing that. We played that state two years ago when we won state. Yeah, that's yeah. cool, brother. And that going back to that stadium, that stadium is real nice, man. Really nice. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Going this is this is gonna be the last question, but this is a important <coughs> question that the audience needs to know, man. What is your pregame song that you like to go to, man? Oh, yeah, I got I got a lot. So my go-to, I think it started my sophomore year. I used to always listen to Young Boy. Something about him. I'm not about all that, but some well, every, everything he says, I feel like he mean, and, it, and he has aggression to himself, and I like that. So I listen to that all the time. And I go with him and probably Baby. Yeah. Little Baby. For sure. Got to, man. Well, we're about to get up out of here. Uh, check out my podcast, Under the Hood Sports. It's on Spotify. Check it out. I interview a lot of the Memphis football players. So check that out. Also, Chris, what is your Instagram and Twitter, man, for the audience, man? Uh, all my, my Instagram and my Twitter is the same thing. as uh, CLoaded55. Or you can just look my name up, uh, Christian Sands. For sure. My name is Johnny Hill, and we're out, Conquer Sports. Uh, uh.
Went from ball and broadcasting. Now I play the game Madden. Madden. See the game like Madden. Madden. Commentate like Madden. Madden. Living life fantastic. <sighs> Calling unusual plays. Good. Made me a hustle today. Good. That's why I pray every day. Good. Went from ball and broadcasting. Madden. Now I play the game Madden. Madden. See the game like Madden. Madden. Commentate like Madden. Madden. Living life fantastic. <sighs> Calling unusual plays. Good. Made me a hustle today. Good. That's why I pray every day. Good. Feeling like playoff Lenny. Lenny. Rings when I walk in, couple thousand for the walk in. Touch the mic and I get it hype. Touch the boot and it's blazing.